Hi, I'm Danny, and welcome to my channel. For today's video, I have my February update for the Pan Those Eyeshadows Project Pan. This was started by Alexi, and it is a very popular project here on YouTube. If you go in my description box, I do have a link to Alexi's channel. I don't have a playlist because there are so many people doing this, and I don't think there is a formal playlist. If you just type in the hashtag pan those eyeshadows or just type in pan those eyeshadows, you will come up with so much content you'll be able to binge watch for days. So it's a very popular project. Um, Alexi did start it up this year. She did take a couple years off, but she is doing it again this year. So if you guys want to follow her along on her journey, be sure to check out her channel. I do have my playlist link down below and here on the screen so you guys can see everything that I was working on last year. I have been doing this project for about a year now, probably a little over a year now. Um, it is one of my favorite projects to do. Last year I was focusing on all of my non cruelty free eyeshadows and so I was working on those for about a year and now I've switched over to working on some of my older palettes. So before we get into that let's go ahead and talk about what I'm wearing on my eyes for the 365 days of eyeshadow. I have been focusing on these singles uh, right here from Colored Rain for the past few days and today I am wearing this shade right here um, yeah, I believe it's called Happy Days, and I am wearing this color right here on the inner portion of my eyelid right here. So this is a beautiful kind of sheer red color, and I've really enjoyed that. So because I wanted to pull out a bunch of red eyeshadows, I thought that this would be a perfect one to dip into. So that's what I'm wearing on my eyes, and for the 365 Days of Lippies Challenge, I'm wearing a ColourPop ultra matte lip color. This is in their collaboration with Makeup Shayla and this is in the color Shade A. It is this beautiful purple right here. As you can see it does dry down a little bit darker than it looks like in the tube. It does look a little bit like I have an ombre lip going on because it did dry down a little bit lighter in the center of my lips. I didn't do anything special. I literally just put this on. Don't have a lip liner or a lip gloss on and it just kind of dried down lighter in the center of my lips. Not sure why. Maybe I just put on a thinner coat there but this is what I'm wearing. This is beautiful and I definitely will wear this one again. Okay, so now let's go ahead and get into pan those eyeshadows. Here are my swatches of everything I've been working on. This is the Urban Decay Naked Cherry Palette in the shade Feels. This is the Too Faced White Peach Palette in the shade Peaches and Dreams. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Prism Palette in the shade Throne. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina Palette in the shade... Uh, dazzling. <laughs> and then this one is the Too Faced Razzle Dazzle Berry Palette in the shade Boysenberry. So this is my color story that I was working on over the past month. So let's go ahead and start out with the eyeshadow that's been in here the longest and that is my Urban Decay Naked Cherry Palette. This one has been in here for one, two, three, four months. As of the last update, I had used it 23 times and I told you guys I probably just needed to use it one more time to hit pan and I was right. This is it right here. I did use it the one more time, so 24 uses, and I have hit pan in this shade right here. So this will be the first shadow rolling out for this month. The next palette I was working on, this one doesn't want to close. There we go. The next palette that I was working on, let's see, how many months was this in here? So this is the third month that this is in here, is this Too Faced White Peach Palette. And I was working on the shade Peaches and Dreams. As of the last update, I had used it 14 times. And I did use this one an additional nine times. And this is what it is looking like right now. And as you guys can see, I did hit pan in this shade as well. So this is another shade that we will be rolling out this update. The next one uh, that again was in here for three months is my Anastasia Beverly Hills Prism Palette and I had the shade Throne which is a beautiful kind of black base and it turns, um, it kind of shifts from purple to green. It's really pretty. I had used this one seven times as of the last update. I did use it nine more times and this is what it is looking like right now. So I did hit pan in this one after a total of 16 uses. So this is another shadow that we will be rolling out for this update. Next is my Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina palette. I did roll this one in two rounds ago. However, as of the last update, I hadn't used it at all. And over this 
month I have used it four times and this is what it is looking like right now so I don't have any pan in this one however um, and that's okay so this one will be staying in the project for another month while I work on it and the final shade that I've been working on is for my Too Faced Razzle Dazzle Berry palette and I did roll this one in the last update and I did wear it three times and this is it right here so as you guys can see there isn't any pan in there these pans are really shallow if you guys have these Too Faced palettes um, for reference the Norvina palettes like these are 0.7 grams these are 0.8 so it's just a tenth of a gram more product and of course it is spread out in a longer pan so these aren't very deep i don't know if you guys can see how shallow the pan is in this one that i've hit so we'll see how long it takes me to hit shade uh, pan in the shade boysenberry um, it is a matte and so i have used this one a number of times before i ever went into this project and it doesn't even have a dip going in it yet. So this one's gonna take a while, but that's okay. It is a beautiful shade and I do enjoy wearing it. So before we start selecting new shades, let's go ahead and talk about some of the looks that I created with these eyeshadows. Let me go ahead and pull those up. I thought I was all ready for this. I thought I had everything ready to go, but. Okay, let's start off with this green look. I did do this green look in one of my recent videos, um, and it was my halo eye that I did. When I was using the uh, shade Prism in this uh, look, this is when I hit pan. As you guys can see, it is a halo eye, so I did put this really deep green uh, eyeshadow on the outer V and on the inner corner of my eye to make that halo eye and that's when I hit pan was making this look right here. For the next look this one is I have to like look ahead. <laughs> this one is for my Narvina uh, palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills and this, for this one I was using the shade bronze and I do have this one kind of in the outer portion of my eyelid it's a beautiful bronze shade. It is so soft and creamy. It is my favorite shimmer formula from uh, ABH is like this shade right here in the Norvina palette. I think this one is beautiful. This next look here is uh, the eyeshadow Peaches and Dreams from my Too Faced White Peach palette. And for that, I do have this one packed on the inner portion of my eyelid. I do think it is beautiful and I have really enjoyed working on this shade. And then for this next look, it is my typical red look that I have been wearing. And for that, I would always start off with the Naked Cherry palette from Urban Decay. And I would use that as my transition shade. And then I would, of course, build up lots of colors on my eyelid um, on top of it. So that is a color that was basically a transition shade. And often it was hard to see in looks because I would put darker colors on top of it. And then for today, I am wearing another red look. I did not use the Naked Cherry palette for this, but instead I did use this very deep berry tone. And I do have this one kind of worked through here above um, where I did my cut crease. That's kind of where I put this shade in here. And I love the way it turned the entire look berry. Um, it's beautiful. And so I'm looking forward to keep working on this one, especially since this coordinates really well with my Pan That palette, which is my Modern Renaissance palettes, the reds in there. This goes beautifully with them, and so I'm enjoying putting those together as a great color combination to work on. So, I have three eyeshadows that I have finished up, and it is time to roll in three new eyeshadows. So, I mentioned to you guys that I am working on my older palettes. What I have done is I've put those in um, this app. I think it's called Tiny Decisions. I have maybe a dozen palettes right here. We're going to roll three of them. And uh, if I do roll the same palette twice, then we're going to pick two eyeshadows from there. And once these eyeshadow palettes have like three pans in there, I take them off this list um, because I figure that's enough love for now and we'll move on to the next one. So let's go ahead and see what three eyeshadow palettes I get. So. Okay, the first one is the Just Peachy Mattes from Too Faced. Just peachy mattes again, okay. And 
Urban Decay Naked Cherry again. So let me go ahead and grab that other palette and we'll be right back to roll and figure out what shades I'll be working on. All right, I already had my Naked Cherry palette out here. So I've gone ahead and pulled out my Too Faced Just Peachy Mattes palette. I've had this one for a while. I think I got it in BoxyCharm and as you guys can see, I have not used this palette. So these Too Faced matte eyeshadows are no joke, so these are gonna be in here for quite a while. So both of these palettes have 12 eyeshadows in here. So I've pulled up my pretty random app and let's go ahead and roll for the Naked Cherry palette first and see what shade I get in here. This one is gonna be shade number eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, which is this color right here called Bing. So I have used the shade Bing before. Um, I've used it often to blend in when I was working on red looks right there. So let me go ahead and give you a swatch of the shade Bing. I have taken off the swatches of the shadows that will be rolling out. So this is the shade Bing right here. Now for my Too Faced Just Peachy Mattes, let's go ahead and see what shade I get. Number six and number 10, since I did roll this one twice. So number six is this one right here called Just Peachy. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. I know I'm holding it upside down. So it is this one called Just Peachy is number six. That is really pretty. So this is just peachy right here. And then number 10, so eight, nine, 10 is just below it. And it is called Fresh Picked, which is this one right here. So let me give you a swatch of that. So this is it right here. So this is Bing, this is Just Peachy, and this one is Fresh Picked. Then this one is Dazzling, and this one is called Boysenberry. So I can wear a lot of these colors together in one look, which will be really good. That, that always comes in handy when you're trying to pan multiple colors. Can I just say I'm really relieved that I didn't get any of these deep browns because I am working on several brands in not only my pan that palette, but in the palette I'm trying to pan for my throwback 30. So this is everything that I have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this update. It was pretty exciting to have three new pans for you guys and to be able to roll in some new colors to work on. And I think that these will work really well with my pan that palette. So that's always a plus when you can combine eyeshadows together. So. If you guys haven't already, I hope you please consider subscribing to my channel before you go. Ring that bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. And thank you so much for stopping by.